So breakfast with Jean Johnson, a first, a classic first for me. I've had several other eating times with this lady with the hippie cook. Primarily <laughs> lunch and sometimes dinner. But this is a classic first and this is great. She's learning to help me understand how muesli, aka oatmeal in my mind, um, can be thrifty <laughs> and affordable versus the two bucks I paid for probably a fifth of the size of this nice little bowl here. Give or take. Yeah, okay. Give or All take. right. What? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just, mm. so then the question is, mm. and notice Linda's still munching on the cereal. I want credit for that. She's still munching on the Oh, yeah, that's there. true. I just wanted to try it out without all this, like, flavoring, Gina said, and I wasn't sure if I would dig it. I think I'm just munching right now, too, so I, I dig it. I was thinking this could even just be a little snack. <laughs> like, um, I've been known I to dip the spoon. I snack a lot. Uh, like, the, I snack a lot. What? The, I've been known to dip the spoon in the, in the muesli bowl. Mm. Yeah. Wow, really? Wow. That's what, just like what you're doing with your fingers, except I use the spoon. You know what? Oh, sorry. I'm like painting it all. Mm. No. What I'm not used to with spoons mm. and something dry is that once the spoon hits my palate, my, my tongue, I'm tasting the spoon. This is a woman who uses sticks. <laughs> she speaks sticks. <laughs> I speak sticks too, so. She does As too. in chopsticks. You but bet I've, we do. I've done that with spoons and various other things. And it's just like, darn, it loses the taste of Isn't whatever that, I was eating. Wow, how interesting. Yeah. And so I don't like it. That's why I actually I would never, I would oh, have done that because oh, I'm tasting of the, the spoon. spoon. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I didn't even. Okay, so here's the. Here's Maybe the, that's a little bit more. Um, oh, yeah. Whatever. What yeah. that word is. Yeah. Some, some of the, yeah, all those words. So here's, here's um, yes. the question. Is that with my mouth full? No, 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 no. I mean, are you going to change over? See, here oh, was this. Oh, am I going to change over to this? Yeah, have I, have I won a convert to the delicious revolution from the box cereal thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. go. See, what's good, great about Jean is she, um, she actually is very diligent about thinking, I don't want the words, thinking through your foods, but in a way, thinking through her foods. I get lost in the store sometimes. I just stare and I'm like, I'm not, I'm uninspired <laughs> by what I see. Mm. So let me just grab something. Mm. That's why. Mm. The okay. muesli, the muesli, I remember I've only, I made muesli like this mixture once, but it had to be, it became a granola bar. Okay, yeah. And this food is relatively new to my my just me in general within the past five to six years mm. and so as i stare at ingredients i have no clue what they are like what is the difference between rolled oats or what's the other stuff rolled triticale i have thank you yeah rolled triticale uh, well you read the little sign that's all i did what the world does that mean <laughs> yeah i know it's just some other kind of thing and the come up you know but just sometimes i've made it just with rolled oats it makes sense. And wheat germ. But see, no, that makes sense. But for a person who um, had absolutely zero clue in regards to what she's about to make. Ta-da, ta-da, yes. ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Beyond measure. Linda has a copy of this book. I do. And, and I would just like, for the record, to point out that there's a whole discussion of this on page 29. Blah, blah, blah. Swiss burka muesli. But the point is, here's, here's, there it is, Swiss burka muesli. And the recipe note, well, where is the recipe note? One part rolled oats, half part wheat germ, oat bran, flax meal. That's the basic cereal. Yeah, that is the basic cereal. But, yeah. So you I could, think those ingredients is like, hmm. Oh, okay. So you could go to the, um, the bulk bins at Good Eats. Linda shops at Good Eats. Ah. We have a great store. In town. Proper eats, you mean? Proper eats, proper eats. So they have book bins. Mm -hmm. And they do have this stuff, you're right. She can get some rolled oats. When I do it, yeah. again, this is quite not my palate all the time. Well, when I do it, I will let Miss Dean Johnson hippie cook now. Well, actually, the original deal, mm -hmm. you're forgetting, you're forgetting what, you like those flame raisins, aren't they good? They're quite yummy. They're and big. They're fat. They are fat raisins. They're flames, and they were on sale yesterday at the co-op. Mm -hmm. That's why I got them. But the original deal with Linda was... Um, yes. The, the <laughs> that, you know, she said she was buying this little foxy-boxy stuff, Arama, and I went, Linda, 
Oh, yeah. Your mother taught you to be thrifty and you're... She definitely just said, Linda. I... <laughs> How dare you? No, it wasn't a how dare. Join was, this box revolution. It was Linda, come on, man, you know? That's not, Get with it, will you? That's not thrifty at all. Not thrifty. Not, no, no NT, not thrifty. So? And so the deal was that if I made some up and put oh, it in yeah. the little... She has to have it. I have to buy some baggies. That's right. And individually bag it for her. <laughs> so she has her servings. I, I, I might try to give she, her... She, I, she has won me over. I can actually... No, you don't have to individually bag it. Cause yeah. What I like about this... You can snack. snack for me. You it's a snack. It's like... And by, instead of buying... Excuse me. Yes, I do engage in this. Sorry, Jean Johnson. Chip bags. I can hear her. <laughs> I, I can't know. Isn't that so sad? <laughs> <laughs> My palate goes there. Sometimes. Chip bags? Chip. You know, chips. Bags of chips. Chips. Yeah. Chips. Linda eats chips. Yeah. We all this have is, chips. Let's so taste it. So that's how I'm munching on this. I feel like I'm eating a, you know, a bowl of chips right now. Mm -hmm. It's not chips. It's and, and if you had a piece of fresh fruit there beside it, yeah, it might be that was, that's, um, munchy juicy. Yeah. Or you could put but milk no, on it. But right now I can just munch on it like this. Yeah. Yeah. So if I made a jar of that for you to take to work, I would have prevailed over against the box food you industry? You would have prevailed, actually. Yes. You would have prevailed. January 12th. 2010. Welcome to the new year. And the delicious and the revolution. Delicious revolution.